Five, four, three, two, one. Like we did using the speed formula to calculate distance, we can also calculate displacement using the velocity formula. Example 1. An object travels at a constant velocity of 16.06 .06 metres per second for a time period of 14.86 seconds. What is its displacement over this time? So we list our data. Now because it's a constant velocity, we don't need to write Vav, we can just write V, T, and now S equals question mark. This is the unknown quantity. Once you've listed your data, as always, look for a formula that relates the variables. So we have Vav equals displacement over time, or S over T. And now we need to rearrange that to give displacement. And to do that, you multiply both sides of the equation by T. The T's cancel out on the right, and you're left with S equals Vav times T, or T times Vav, whichever you prefer. Substitute the data, calculate it, and highlight your answer. In the same way, we can calculate time, provided that we know velocity and displacement. So how much time passes when an object travels at a constant velocity of 18.46 metres per second over a displacement of 18.90 metres? T is what we're trying to find. List your velocity and displacement and begin with the basic formula. To rearrange this, we're dividing by T on the left and the shortcut way of thinking is that if a variable is on the bottom line on one side, it effectively gets moved to the top line on the other. So Vav, which is on the top line on the left, gets moved to the bottom line on the right. Effectively what you're doing in formulae of this kind is switching the Vav and the T around. So you end up with T equals S over Vav. Substitute the values, calculate it. And the answer is 1.02 seconds and we just need to highlight that for clarity.